Today we're going to hydro dip a duo sonic guitar from the fret wire. Uh, so start off, I've got my paint sitting in a bucket, making sure that it, it gets a little bit warmer than room temperature. Uh, it's sitting in hot water right now, warming it up so it flows better, um, sprays better, doesn't clump on the inside, and it stays a little bit uh, more liquid when you spray it in. And here I've got my big trash can. Um, I filled this with water from inside and it's probably 85 90 degrees the, the water it's about 70 degrees outside um, definitely want to make sure you have warm water uh, i'm also using up some uh, old cans that i had laying around the garage so i'm going to be doing black red and a little bit of fluorescent green today i don't want to go too heavy on the green i want the green to be a little bit lighter just a little bit of an accent here and there um, you know really i want to get a nice black with uh, red streaks going through it um, so starting with our red, I just finished off a black can, but you can't really see it that well in the video. It dispersed a lot. And, you know, the, the goal here is to spray enough where it flows together. It doesn't immediately film over, clump up, um, and to make sure that it lasts long enough to be able to get the guitar in there before it dries. And also to make sure that you have enough to coat the entire guitar. And, you know, that can be tricky. Sometimes you'll, you'll think you're good, and then halfway through the dip, you'll realize, oh, no, I'm out. Um, you know, and you've got a half-dipped guitar. So make sure you use plenty. I probably, I tend to go a little bit overkill. Here, we're going to get that green going in there for the first time. Probably only do like two or three pops of that anyway. But, you know, you use enough. You'd rather have too much than too little, I think, with, with hydro dipping. Uh, so make sure you use a little bit more than you think that you'll actually need. And I'm just going to kind of rotate back and forth between cans, you know, making sure once again I get a, a really good base of, of paint on top of that water there. Um, I kind of look for it to, to flow to the edges a little bit with the guitar to make sure that I get the whole thing. And the, uh, the red and black paint are 2X from Rust-Oleum. Uh, it's a paint and a primer in one. It's really not the best paint to use for, for hydro dipping, in my opinion. Some people swear by it, but uh, I, I've had better luck with Krylon, and the green is Krylon. Um, I like their colors, too. They've got some, some vibrant colors. In, in this case, I didn't use enough green to really get the fluorescent green jungle pop that uh, it's supposed to be. But once again, I just wanted a little bit of an accent with the green, not like green throughout the whole thing. All right, we'll do a couple more bursts here, and then we'll uh, go ahead and dip. I've got a guitar body primed, ready to go. It's got a black prime, it's 2K as well. And I've got my toothpick handy. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and use this toothpick to swirl the paint all together. Um, trying to get a, a pattern, you know, mix it up a little bit. And I can already tell there's gonna be a little bit too much green. Uh, that's a shame. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. I probably should have swirled this a little bit more too, but I'm worried about time here. So we'll move gently side to side, and that'll kind of um, move the paint a little bit and give you more of like a swirl, like wavy type of look. You wanna make sure you go all the way down, keep rotating it, keep it moving, make sure that paint is sticking, and then once you're in, just knock off the paint off the top. And there we go. <clears throat> I'm really unhappy with the way the front came out. Uh, the, the, the front just kind of looks like a, a blob more than a swirl. The back has too much green. So I'm not super, super happy with this. I do really like the sides, though. Um, you can see the top of the horn there. A little bit of the sides. The sides kind of have that red look that I was going for more than just like the, the blobs. But... Maybe I actually use too much paint here. There's actually a little bit too much black on this horn, so I'm going to dip this down in there again in just a little wet spot and try to get some on there. If there's just a little blank spot, I don't mind re-dipping, but uh, if you re-dip the whole thing, it'll be a mess. So definitely you know, think twice before you do that. Otherwise, you could just ruin the whole entire thing. All right, so you can see that like, I really like how the sides look. I wish the whole thing looked like the sides. You can see all the excess water on there. 
we're going to have to shake that all off. This is actually not even super clumpy, but let's get this water off. And then uh, the next steps would be to spray it with lacquer. I always put a, you can see my hands are a mess here too. I always put a, a base coat of lacquer on these before I start sanding them level um, to make sure that you protect the paint that is smooth and leveled. So hit it with a thing of lacquer, sand it off. I have a, a video where I hydro dip an LP where I go through that uh, if you want to go check out that video. But here's the final product. Um, this is not, how should I say the final product? It's not actually finished yet. It, I don't have uh, any lacquer on there yet. Um, but you can see there's a couple of spots where there's a little bit of goop. Um, there's some thicker spots, some raised spots. Uh, I really like the sides. Man, I wish the whole thing looked like the sides. But overall, I mean, the pick card's going to cover a lot of that. I, I think I can live with this. When, once I smooth this out, finish it, it should have a nice shine to it, and it should look pretty good. All right, so we're going to let this cure for a week, and then I'm going to spray lacquer on it. We're going to let that lacquer cure and then level sand. Uh, wet sand it down, make it smooth, and then add a couple more layers of lacquer. I have a video, an LP video, hydro dipping as well, where I go through that process. So go check that out as well and uh, look at the process of, of finishing it. Thank you for watching and subscribe.